All right, so we should be live right now. Uh, yeah, have a look. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna. I'm just gonna go through some of the videos that we recently uploaded. So if you haven't seen them, I suggest you check them out. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna fix the lighting, and then we should be able to get into things. All right, so uh, I think the lighting is not that bad. Uh, yeah, um, type in the chat, guys, if the lighting is all right. So, yeah, we'll get straight into things. Um, yeah, first of all, I'll just get started uh, with the beginner color change. So I'll, I'll go through the tutorial and then I'll do a demo afterwards. So first of all, you want to select your two cards right here. And what you want to do is... I uh, hold the deck in the mechanics group like that and cover this part, the top part with your hand and you want to palm it like this. So this is very effective for a beginner's color change. So it looks something like this. So something like that. Um, I'll do it from the camera. So like that. Something like that. It's uh, very, um, very effective. Uh, great beginner's color. Uh, color change and yeah, so my brother will come to the setup now and he'll go through one of his tricks and that will be back shortly. All right, so I'm just going to quickly start this. Um, can you mute that right there? Yeah, yeah I'm mute. The second tap. Okay, so uh, just grab a regular deck of cards for this. Uh, this is quite an advanced move. So... Um, if I recommend you do try it, but if you can't do it, then there are easier versions to get the same results for this trick. So, um, as I get a spectator to pick a card, the basic concept for this is when you take a card, the spectator selection, and it is returned into the middle of the deck. And just to show you guys there. And after that's happening, while the spectator is distracted, you can control the card to the top by doing that little move. It's uh, very, you, you can see what I'm doing there, but normally it's, uh, you can use uh, different types of covers to um, minimize the spectator seeing what you're doing. So I'll be explaining the classic pass, which is what it's called. So it's when a uh, playing card is selected and placed in the middle of the deck. So for instance, right here. And what the basic concept is, is getting the spectator's card, go back onto there, because I need to see what I'm doing. Uh, what, what I'm basically doing is catching a pinky break and I'm taking this top of the deck to the bottom. So I'm basically, the spectator's card is uh, going to be on, on top. So that's what I'm aiming for. So as I get a pinky break, so I put my pinky, in there, I'm basically taking the top half to the bottom by doing this move. Uh, I'll just show you guys how to do that now. Now, I'll use two cards for this example. What I'm going to be doing is, uh, you should copy this as well. Uh, use two cards and then you can use half a deck and then you can use a full deck. So you basically put your pinky there and hold, hold the deck like this with your thumb on the side, index on top and these three fingers and the pinkies in the middle getting a break, but you're using this hand to cover it. So the spectator can't see. And what I'm doing is I'm using these three fingers to take this card like this. Like I'm sort of using them to go and to flip the card like that, but I'm using this hand to cover it. So as I do this, uh, it's a bit hard to see. I'm doing that with the card coming around and putting it under. Now it is quite hard to do, but uh, as I said, this is uh, an advanced move. There are other moves that you can do such as the Herman Pass like that. 
and uh, it, my brother did do a tutorial on it, so definitely uh, he's going to also explain it in the stream as well, so be sure to stay tuned. So basically the concept is we take the six and um, go back onto the... Uh, we take the six, it's in the middle, I catch a pinky break and I use this hand to... I use these fingers to move them down like that, so it's like that. And I'm just grabbing this deck, this half of the deck with my uh, whatever hand that you're using that isn't the one that's with the pinky on it, like this. So I'm just pulling up with this packet and then this is closing and I'm putting it on top. So that's a basic fundamental move. Uh, do, I, do you want me to continue? Um, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll be on um... All right, so let's see what I have in other trick to do. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to make, a, like, how to palm a card, basically. Now, this type of palm is actually, is actually like one of my favorites rather than the classic palm, which is just like this. You, you, uh, it's sort of like you suspect that I could tell something's going on because your fingers are close together. Whether if I were to palm it like this, the spectator won't be able to see uh, because the card is pumped like that. And what you can do is I can produce the card as well and I can act like I'm throwing it and it vanishes. It's hard to do on this angle, but I'll be showing you guys how to do it. So grab one card and you want to insert it between two fingers like this. And you want to act like you're throwing the card. This is one of the effects you can do with this. Act like you're going to throw the card and then you want to pull, you want to use these two fingers to pull in and your thumb will grab the card and you can release your fingers. So it's like that. And then from the spectator's point of view, uh, they can't see it at all. And then when you want to produce it again, you grab your two fingers, you go like you're about to grab something out of the air. You put your two fingers in like the palm like this and you can reproduce it like that. Uh, now my brother will do another trick. Um, that's just uh, another advanced move, but it's not really that advanced. I think you guys can manage. All right, so this is a really cool beginner's uh, card trick. So I just learned this one. I'll go through uh, the tutorial and then I'll go through the demo just so, you know, the, I mean, it's really important to get, get down to the basics. So really what you're doing is you're going to... Uh, in front of your spectator, go through the cards and tell them these cards are just a regular deck of cards, no gimmicks, no nothing. And what you're going to do is you're going to look at the fourth card. So in this case, it is the Queen of Hearts. I don't know if you could see that, but it is the, oh no, Queen of Spades, yeah, right there. So it's a fourth card. You don't want to make it obvious that you're actually looking at the fourth card. Should do the performance. The performance. Now, I may as well go through the demo anyways, because I already started. So uh, you're going to go through, look at the fourth card here. Well, actually, it is the three of clubs. In this case, three of clubs. And then you're going to screw up the deck. And then you're going to split them in two. Like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to tell your spectator right now that uh, the fourth card in here will tell you what the fourth card in this pile looks like. So you're just going to grab a peek. So I'll show you what I'm doing. One, two, three, four. So in this case, it is the eight of clubs. You're not going to make the obvious that the spectator will not see this. And then you're going to flip it over and you say, you're going to say, okay, so that card, just tell me that this card is the, whatever card it was, the three of clubs, I think. Three, yeah, okay. And then you go, and then they'll be like, they'll be amazed. So what you're going to do is, yeah, that's just a quick trick. You can also do it over and over again. Uh, you can also shuffle the deck uh, like this, like a riffle shuffle. And you want to keep the four cards on top, and therefore you can do it again. Okay, so I'll get into the Home of Pass, which I just did a video on. Uh, yeah, go check that out. Uh, I uploaded it, like I think, today, today or in around the morning. So, yeah, go check that out. All right, so what uh, I'll show you what the Herman Pass is first of all. So we got the um, three of spades. We'll go in the center, 
and I'll flip it over. And there we go. The three of spades is on top. So I don't know how that looked because I wasn't looking at the stream. But yeah, so that's what the Omen Pass looks like. And yeah, I'll get into the tutorial. So what you're really doing is, yeah, first card, uh, first card, and then what you want to do is swing cut the pack by holding your thumb at the bottom of the pack and your index and middle finger like this, and you can, you know, swing cut, grab it, and then what you're going to do is complete the cut with a pinky break. So once you've got that pinky break down, hold on, I'll do that again, so... Three of spades. I'll, you know, I'll keep it up for the. I'll keep this one face up for the demo. Swing cut, pinky break like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna curl your index finger underneath the packet right here. So very simple. Curl your index finger under the pack, and you're just going to uh, practice this movement of flipping it. So these three fingers are kind of like a guide, guide fingers that make sure the deck doesn't fall out of your hands while your index finger is pushing it that way so you can flip it. So once you've got that basic movement down, uh, from there, it's just really simple and straightforward. I'll, I'll make sure you guys can see. So you, what you wanna do is slightly lift up this pack, slightly lift it up and then, then do this movement. And then once you're here, you can follow through from there like this. So I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, hold on. I'm gonna look at the chat real quick. I don't have, have a good deck of cards, <laughs> Twiggy. <laughs> All right, so three of spades. I'll get into the, the pinky break right here. Then you want to lift it up a little bit and then perform the flip movement and then uh, follow through. So the your um, right or left hand, the one that's not holding uh, the deck in, you want to make sure it covers the movement that you're doing. So this move like that. So you want to make sure it's covering that. So as you can see, you want to cover it. So your spectator won't see um, much at all, but they see like mo half of the deck, I'd say half of it. So it's very effective. So like that. So you just want to practice that movement. I'll do it one more time. And then my brother will come to the, um, the set up. So I lift up the pack and then do the, the flip and then follow through. Okay, so I'm going to read the chat. Great tutorial. Very informative. Okay. Yeah, thank you. All right, yeah, Matthew, would you like to come? Come to the setup? All right, I'm going to, I'll keep my cards over here. Okay, guys, so I did do a tutorial on this a uh, while back on the channel. Well, not that long ago, but I'm just going to go over it for the stream. Now, there are two versions of, of this color change. I'll be showing you the first one. So I'll just find, just cut randomly somewhere in the deck. I have the four of clubs, as you can see here. I'm going to place it on the deck and I'll give it a little shake and the changes into the jack of clubs. So I'll be showing you guys how to do that. It's very, very simple. One of the simplest color changes there is out there. So there is no setup for this. You don't need a gimmick card or something. Just, you need two cards, that's it. We have the eight of diamonds and while I'm displaying it to the audience, I am pushing off the top card and catching a little break like that. And then I'm putting it on top just like that. And I'm my break is above the two cards here. So pretty simple so far. Hope you guys understand this. Now then I'm going to use my middle finger and my thumb to hold the card by the two, two pips. So where the uh, eighth and the other eighth is. And I'm going to slowly shake the deck or uh, the card. I'm going to shake it sort of like this. And while I'm doing that is I'm just going to flip the card like this, like that, as I'm shaking, so like this, okay? And then after that, uh, I can just place it on the deck and take off the card. So it, you do end pretty clean. Um, I'll show you another version you can do. Uh, 
This one's a lot harder to do, but it looks like that. Uh, that is my favorite version. What happens is, is you do the same thing, but I'm holding the card from the opposite end, so where the pips are not, and I'm sort of flexing it in a way uh, with these two fingers. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna lightly grasp the card with my two, my middle finger and my thumb, and bend it a little bit. And with these, my middle finger and my thumb. As well, on the other hand, I'm also going to grab it like this by the pips, like that. So, uh, I'm basically doing that as I'm grabbing it. Then what I'm doing is I'm sort of I'm doing this flick motion with my like that. So I'm flicking it like this, and my middle finger it comes off my middle finger and pivots across those uh, my middle finger, and my thumb. So basically, it's like. Like that, and I'm basically just giving a little flick, and it should flip for you. But don't don't bend it too hard because if I do, it's gonna get stuck and not uh flip how you want it to. So apparently the camera's lost some resolution, but I think that's just the quality of the stream. Okay, so if you your quality is uh, not too good, refresh the stream. You should get better quality. So it's pretty easy. You're just flipping it essentially that it's i've done a tutorial on that um you can check it out if you want i do recommend it <laughs> like that flick yeah it's pretty cool uh so it's very easy uh jack do you wanna yeah i'll come i'll come to this okay all right so i also did a tutorial on this uh, not that long ago, very recent video. Uh, yeah, so it's called the Snappy Color Change. It is a beginner uh, color change. So I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, so I'll take the top card, the Ten of Spades, and turns into the Three of Spades. And when I cut the deck like this, uh, the original card, the Ten of Spades, is face up. So that is the Snappy Color Change uh, performance, and I'll show you the tutorial. Or I'll get into it. So what you're doing is a double lift. You're performing a double lift. Uh, you can do this by riffling like that until you have two cards. So in this case, I have the seven of spades and seven of hearts. And what you want to do is you want to hold the deck in your mechanics grip, just like so. So like this with your pinky ring and middle finger. On this side, your pointer finger on the top and your thumb on the other side. And what you want to do is you want to uh, practice this movement. It's similar. It's a bit similar to uh, the Herman Pass movement where you're doing this. A bit similar, except you're using these three fingers here to drag it like that. So once you've got that movement down of just dragging it like this, very simple like that, uh, you want to cover it with your hand that is not holding the deck so like this and you want to I, I don't know is this a good angle you're just dragging it kind of like that and then moving it to the bottom of the pack so i don't know if you can see this but like this dragging it and then moving it to the bottom so you're in this position right now and then you're just moving it to the bottom so essentially what you're doing is this i don't know if you can see that but you're dragging it to the bottom of the deck. Uh, yeah, so, and once you've done that, uh, yeah, the card will remain face down like this. Face face down like this. So once you're doing that and you do it in a fast version, it will remain face down, so like that. Okay? And then once you flip the pack, once you flip the pack like this, so you say, oh, yeah, seven of hearts this once you've done the color change. You put the deck on top, and then the original card will be face up. So in this case, seven of space. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do we have anything in the chat? Show us another flick. <laughs> show us another flick. Another flick. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew will show you another flick. Uh, guys in the chat, uh, just uh, out of ten, how would you write the lighting? Because this is a new setup. I uh, just 
moved my uh right let me show them a few different camera yeah. angle yes sir, flick okay yeah there we go flick all right so yeah i think that was the snappy color change hopefully i explained it well uh, i didn't go really that in depth but if you want an in-depth tutorial i did one uh not that long ago so go check it out so uh, yeah my brother will come to the stage or oh, well set up matthew all right okay so let me grab my cards here okay so i'm going to be showing you guys how to produce a card um it's pretty simple and uh very effective so not a lot of people actually a lot of people know about this all the magicians do it uh so i'm going to be teaching you how to do this grab one single card or a piece of paper like a sticky note or something just something that is like this sort of shape and you can do it with about anything really what uh, is happening is i'm grasping the card by my my pinky and my my pinky and my index finger between those like that uh it's just behind the palm like this uh and then when i go to produce it, i use my thumb like that so there is a way that you can sort of do that like when you shake it you can make it vanish as well and you can produce it back now what i'm doing is i'm just going like this grasping it with my fingers and doing it like bit. that yeah the line's a bit weird there that's a bit flashy but i'm pretty sure you guys saw that now it is easier to do if i have, I have small hands if uh you have bridge size cards so smaller cards it is a lot easier to do uh i will show you guys an actual card trick right now so i'm going to get the spectator jack would you just pick any card that you want uh, yeah, uh don't show me i'll turn around okay i'll show the camera okay all right did you do it yeah all right uh now just we'll keep it like that now when you tell me when to stop stop i right, place the card there okay now i'm going to now i want you to cut the cards cut the cards do i complete the cut yeah okay so got to flip the cards over and spread them out now your card can be anywhere as you can see here uh just go through like that okay so just to make sure you guys can see all that now i'm going to look through the cards make sure everything is okay okay now i want you to take your card out and uh place it somewhere else in the deck but i'm going to turn around and like i so i've memor i'm going to quickly memorize the whole deck order real quick all right all right go do it all right so my brother's currently turned around he's not watching me right now All right, and make sure that uh, you fix the deck up so I don't... All right, there we go. Okay. Oh, you did do a pretty good job. All right, now I'm going to attempt to find the card. Okay. Is this a card? Yeah. Okay, so that was the card. That was the card. Now, there's no solid proof that I was uh, look uh, turning uh, that I turned around, but I'm going to be showing you how to do that trick. Um, so let's get started. Basically, the deck can be shuffled by you or your spectator. Literally, no order whatsoever. You can do shuffle after shuffle. Okay. So after that, uh, you want to memorize the bottom card, the two of spades, let's say. I'll make it an easier card so you guys can remember. We'll do the ace of spades. Okay? 
So then the spectator is going to choose a card at random. They're going to look at it, the Jack of Spades, for example. And uh, I'm going to cut, you're going to cut the deck by little bit by little bit until they say stop. And then they go, you're going to place a the card there and the ace is going to go on top of it. So now you know the location that the ace is on top of the selected card. So then you're going to want to cut the deck. Keep cutting it. Do not shuffle it because then the card will, the ace won't be uh, paired up with it if that makes sense so then you spread out the card and the cards and you already know by looking at the deck you want to find the ace of spades uh which in this case where is it okay over here and the uh, right next to it is the selected card now what happens is is you're going to act like you're memorizing the cards and then you're going to tell the spectator you're going to turn around and they're going to remove their card and place it somewhere else in the spread for instance like that and uh then you go through the deck and say uh you can see you already know the card you just find the selected card and then you've got it so that's pretty easy um where's the chat there you go Okay. Um, can you teach me how to shuffle? Yeah, I will. Uh, okay, my brother will teach you how to shuffle right now. Okay, so there are many ways to shuffle a uh, pack of cards. Oh, do I have one? Okay, no. No double backers. Okay, so um, an easy way to shuffle is obviously uh, the riffle shuffle. Now, which is uh, quite basic. It took me a while to learn it for some reason. I don't know. But a riffle shuffle is where you cut the pack in two and you kind of bend the cards a little like this and you let go you slightly let go with your thumb so you drag your thumb all the way to the back like this and you do that with both packs and you just let it go like that and if you want to make it fancy and do the bridge uh you just bend the cards like this and you just let them go like that so that wasn't really in depth i'll do it now i'll, do, I'll say it again so cut the pack in two however you like um of the pack i suggest you hold your pointer fingers uh inwards like like that in the text so just as a guide or to you know help bend the cards like that so again you let your thumbs drag a little bit drag backwards like that way as the cards release and with the bridge you just want to hold it and you could well you can uh put your fingers at the bottom like that to uh, just guide the cards to make sure they don't fall out of your hands. Uh, there's also another way to shuffle. I'll just teach you a few basic ways. Uh, Dino said, cool, yeah. I'd say it's pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, the lighting's a bit... Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to fix that next stream. Okay, so another way to shuffle is just grabbing the bottom, bottom pack and then placing it on the top and just keep grabbing it. But that's a basic shuffle. I'm sure you all, you all know how to do that. Okay, so... This is a, well, now you said shuffle, uh, a false cut, like a cut is like this, you know, that's a cut, cut the, cut the deck of cards, that's what that was. Um, this is a false cut, so I'll show you what it is. So the jack of hearts right here will go somewhere in the middle of the pack, and it's on top. So that was a false cut right there. Okay, just... Just try that and that <laughs> all over the floor. <laughs> but like, just take some practice. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Jake. You made it look so easy. <laughs> yeah, well, I've been practicing. <laughs> I think I started magic in like 2015 and then I had a break and then just started doing magic again and started doing this channel, which has actually grown to over 100 subscribers. So, yeah, thank you so much for the support. Uh, yeah, so anyways, I'll get into the false cut. This is a little bit harder. I wouldn't say it's intermediate. It's still beginners. Obviously, this is a beginner's live stream. So I'll leave the card face up for the demo. Uh, so what you want to do is swing cut the pack like this by holding your thumb at the bottom and your uh, pointer and middle finger like that. And you want to, you can break the pack just like this. Like that, very simple. And then you want to grab it into your hand like this and then you want to do the same thing swing cut and then this time grab it with your ring finger and your thumb so right now you're in this position which is kind of a mess so to clean that mess up
you want to tag this pack and then tag the other pack and then put layer on top and the card will still be on top uh i think next live stream we might do an intermediate uh intermediate magic maybe i'm not sure uh oh yeah amazing yeah <laughs> yeah it's pretty amazing so i'll do that again swing cut swing cut again and then you hold with your ring finger and your thumb then clean up the mess simply like that so yeah uh my brother will now come to the art <laughs> no <laughs> uh my brother will come to the setup and he'll show you something cool uh then i might do a trick and then we might have to wrap things up after that so i'll just lay my deck over here okay guys today i'm going to be showing you i'm going to be uh teaching you guys how to force somebody to pick a card in multiple different ways so i'll just show you the first one if let's say we want to force the ten of hearts we want the spectator to pick the ten of hearts we want to keep it on top we want to riffle and ask them to say stop i say stop and then i'm basically taking this and i'm sliding the card like that and they will there's the 10 pick it up like that i can't pick it up but stop and then you slide the card like that so if i were to like that i'll do it slow like that there's it fast it's pretty easy now let's say you want to force the bottom card which is the jack of club just take uh this is called um i forgot what this is called but you want to do this type of shuffle where you take the top part then the you want to keep taking off cards from the top if you want to force the bottom card so keep taking cards off the top till they say stop stop and then you show them the card like that what i like to do is tap the card like this and then uh tap this on the deck and then uh to make it look even more real so yeah another way to force a card this is more advanced this is very risky uh if you were to do this and uh sometimes uh your spectator can sort of be that person who really wants to ma make the card really be random so they go to the bottom of the deck and they pick for instance this one this is for those people who you don't think will sort of do that in a way. So let's say you want to force the Ten of Clubs. I'm going to cut the deck. The Ten is here now. And I'm going to get a pinky break. Now I'm going to spread out the cards to have a spectator to pick one card. And as I'm spreading, I'm giving them that card. I'm basically giving it to them which is the forced card. I'm basically giving it to them. They have no option. Yeah. So, I don't know. Would you classify that as slick? I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's basically how you force a card on someone. Uh, you can do that in every other trick, like a mind reading, if you want to mind read uh, the ace, pick a card, any card, but it takes that one. Yeah, basically you can do that. Uh, Jack, you want to do a trick now? Uh, yeah, it's actually a review. I'm going to go, uh, all you beginners out there who uh, like magic. Uh, yeah, so if you're into card magic, uh, maybe coin magic and other stuff like that, uh, The this right here is a, now you see me, uh, now you see me two kit, which we have got here. So this is just an instructional manual uh so just like this it has 150 plus tricks uh there's a fake thumb which you can use with the, the handkerchief um trick i don't know if you know that but it's where you it's something like where you grab grab your thumb in your fist and you stuff the handkerchief put your put your um thumb back on with the handkerchief inside and then you can pull it back out and it reappears that is a cool trick okay this is one of my favorite gimmicks I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a, a bottle top lid with a little little circle in the middle, a little hole, uh, which you can stuff two tooth, toothpicks in while it's screwed onto a bottle or something like that. I think that's what it's useful. I might I might be wrong, but anyways, I'll just explain it. Um, the bottle trick. 
which I'm pretty sure this is what it's used for. Uh, yeah, so you screw this onto the bottle and then you can stuff tooth, toothpicks in without the water falling out. Uh, yeah, so very cool uh, device here. And we have a few gimmick. I think this is a marked deck. One of these are a marked deck. One of them's the invisible deck. Oh, yeah. One of them's the invisible deck, and one of them's, I think, marked. I'm not quite sure, because uh, this one... you want me to add a link of the invisible deck, I will add it. Okay, yeah, my brother will add a link if, if for the invisible deck. That. Yep. It's, uh, it's basically gimmick cards. Yeah, gimmick cards, yeah. So this is a levitation gadget. Uh, yeah. Like a th thread, which you can uh, levitate some objects on. Um, yeah, here's a chain. I'm not sure what this is useful, but I'm guessing it has to do with um, like an escape or something. Uh, this is a lock and a key, which I'm guessing you have to use. Uh, I don't know. This might be an escape, another escape thing. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is just a basic kit. I'm not sure. Am I just going with that many magic tricks? Oh, yeah. 150 plus magic tricks in this uh like there's very few props and you can do over 150 tricks which is really cool uh yeah i'll pack this away and i'll get into uh magic book which is uh i'll explain a brief review about it so here matthew here put this away all right so find a uh, link above yeah for the invisible uh deck trick yeah so Andrew Michael Magic Tricks with Glenn Singleton. This is our magic book, which has all sorts of tricks. Uh, yeah, that page is ripped. Just ignore that. Uh, there's, uh, I'll just go through the main chapters. It has quick tricks and simple illusions, diabolically clever card tricks, cunning coin conundrums, classic conjuring, uh, masterly, masterly, yeah, masterly mental magic, riveting uh, rope and ring tricks, fun with magic and as an index. So I'll just skim through these pages right here. Uh, yeah, it just has uh, a lot of tricks in here. I think, does it say how many it has? Yeah, 101. So yeah, just I'll skip through this. Yeah, they have uh, brief pictures like that. Can you turn it out of the way? It's making me just... Oh yeah, sorry guys, yeah. It's just, I'm not sure if you can see that, but yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it has simple uh, illustrations which uh, guide you with the explanation. So yeah, uh, very, I highly recommend this book. I think I got this from my school, but yeah, this one looks like, uh, yeah, if you're into magic, yeah, boom, this is a great book for you. I highly recommend it. I think we have uh, another magic kit. I think we do. I'm not sure. Uh, my brother will come to the setup and uh, just entertain you for a little bit while I try to find uh, another either book or a another magic kit. I'm going to be doing a uh, sort of this card trick. I'm just I'm just going to be asking you guys to say stop. Uh, just type in chat when to say stop. I'll go really slow. Now, uh, someone type in chat when to say stop. Actually, I could say stop if me. I'll go again. Okay. I'll do it, I'll do it, okay. Go again. I'll oh, stop. Okay. okay, so right there, that's your card. I'm not going to look up at the turn around. All right, so it is, you know, but you guys know what it is. Uh, my brother's not looking. All right, so it's uh, going to place it on the table. Okay. So it's right there. Going to put it right in the middle, like that's about middle. And to push it in. And now I have no control over where the card is. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap my fingers and I'm going to put the deck behind my back and flip over your card. Well, not looking so okay i've done it and your card is the only one face up i think that's your card yeah the four hearts here guys that was our card uh i know there's no actual proof that he was uh that he was uh he wasn't looking at the deck but 
right now I can tell you that he wasn't looking at the deck. So yeah, you can believe me or not believe me. It's up to you. Okay, so this is just a simple. Uh, I think it's yeah. This is a laminated booklet. Uh, yeah, I think I got this from my school as well. So this is fifty amazing card tricks, easy to do with regular deck of cards with a regular. Deck. I'm trying to read it backwards because I'm trying to show you guys it. So um, I flip through it. So that's yeah, fifty tricks. Um, yeah, there's uh, a little note. So yeah, this is a double cross force. Yeah, uh, beginner tricks really uh really easy and straightforward it has an explanation which is about i'd say a paragraph a paragraph and a half around there. so yeah just uh, i'll skim through it so yeah um yeah it's very brief yeah i'm not sure i got this from but if you ever see this uh yeah pick it up if you're interested in magic uh i think we're almost going to wrap it up i'm going to do uh maybe a deck review like a we got a lot of cards so i might as well get through a little bit of some decks uh i think i've read this <laughs> uh yeah maybe 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 you have maybe you haven't uh yeah it's been in our past live stream oh yeah this has been in our past live streams i'm pretty sure uh yeah overall this is a beginner's live stream so yeah, I was just going to show you guys that. Uh, if you guys have any questions, don't forget to type them in chat. So, yeah. Nick. <laughs> uh, so, I'm going to get a deck of cards. Uh, yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay, my name has gone, guys. I just want to say um, thank you for viewing the stream. Uh, there might not be a lot of people viewing the stream right now, but... Um, after this stream is uploaded, uh, people will start watching the stream. So if you want to rewatch the stream, be sure to go check it out on our videos. Okay, so I've got four decks here. Uh, I would have brought. We got a lot of bicycle cards, which are just the standard bicycle cards, which you guys probably know already. They're very familiar with them. So I've got the Killer Bee, the Virtuoso deck, the Tally Ho, and the King Slayer. So I'll go with my favorite deck out of the lot, which is. The killer bee, so I'll move those aside. I'll open them uh, from the illusionist right there. Um, yeah, and this is another bad card. And yeah, okay. So if you guys look at the design, I like the black and yellow honeycomb design. This is what I love about this deck. Is it, it's just it's uh, I mean look at it, it's just a great design. And if I turn around, look at these pips, they're very they're not like normal standard pips. Look at them. They're a little, you know, I don't know the word, but as you can see, they're a little different to bicycle cards. Well, quite a bit different. So I got the yellow for the red and uh, and the white for the black. So that's what I like. They don't keep they don't keep things simple. They actually make it quite fancy. So I get to like a jack, queen, or a king. Okay, king right here. As you can see, very fancy. Uh, they've got quite a design, I must say. They've got the honeycomb design for the for the um, the king's hat or whatever, whatever you want to call it. The ace, the ace of spades is by far my favourite, I'd say, because it has uh, it has a great honeycomb design with a B inside of it. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it has a B in the middle. So yeah, that's to the Killer B uh, deck of cards. So yeah, highly recommend these. Um, I'm not sure if they're still selling these. They probably are, but yeah. Anyways, go pick them up if you like the design. Okay, so now I'll get into the Virtuoso deck, and I'll show you a cool thing that they have when you buy the deck. So I'll grab them, and what they have is these cards which you can create a big that you can create the back design of the card except it's much more it's much bigger yeah there's a little bit of uh what's the name here this is just to make the table it's, uh the table you know flat because i have a little dip in the table so yeah i'm just trying to make everything you know flat and even so i don't know if you could see that but that's a a big 
a big card which looks like that so i'll compare it this what four cards in total here and the one card so that's just the back design really cool guys uh type in the chat uh, one out of ten uh one to ten uh what do you think of this deck so i uh, right just type in like a nine if it's a nine out of ten or an eight if it's an eight out of ten what do you think of this deck uh i'm very curious uh great job guys oh thank you okay so i'll pack up this and i'll just do a few dribbles with these so yeah we uh, what i also like about these is they have uh i don't know like a better design than most car most cards have uh these pips they have also uh red and black design on the side eight eight yeah yeah uh, i would have expected some eights so it has um as you can see little black and yellow on the edge there which uh creates the design on the side i don't know if you can see that there's a little black line in the middle and there's uh, a gray and there's yellow on that side so yeah I, i'd say that's pretty fancy uh yeah uh, i'm not sure what the finish is i think it's by the feel of it i think it's a linoid finish uh just by uh dribbling the cards in the hands this deck is made specifically for cardistry so yeah cardistry is just like a fancy dribbles you know do fancy stuff with the deck uh yeah i don't know much cardistry because i haven't practiced i'm focusing on card magic and yeah that's about it so i'll get into the tally ho deck so uh, cardistry uh Ho. this is very bright yellow so yeah i'm sorry if you can't see this under the light but this is very yellow yeah i'm not sure if you'll be able to see this but i'll go through it anyways this is just a double backer i don't know if you guys can see okay i have to do it close to the camera for you guys all right uh put your ratings in the chat uh from one to ten what do you think of this deck so i'll go through home there's a honey honeycomb cards are distracting so good them oh yeah so good for magic yeah yeah i use i use when i got the pack i used to use it all the time for magic so these are very yellow i don't recommend these cards uh just type your ratings in the chat one out of ten what do you think what do you think about these cards as a circ, like a big yellow circle i don't know if you can see that <laughs> but yeah very fancy but yeah not good for magic i i think these are just for show but yeah the joker is like a cowboy i think i don't know if you can see that they're like a cowboy uh yeah so i'll just uh these are linoid finish not air cushion air cushion finish is a bit softer in the hands and linoid finish is a bit crispy in the hands you know like it's a bit um you know crispy a little bit harder than uh, some finishes as when i flick the card you can kind of hear it hear it snap but yeah so i'll get on to i'll get on to the last deck which is the king slayer deck I'll make sure to do the next uh, notifications okay yeah all right moving on to the final deck the king slayer deck so this is what the back looks like uh, with the two swords uh, all right this is a double backer and uh, you know i i skipped through some of the double backers on these cards so i might as well show you it uh what a double back is useful it's useful uh for instance a spectator selects a card the four of diamonds and what you do is you perform a double lift with the double backer so like that so you can make sure you square them up as one card and then when you flip it over you put it in the middle of the deck like that so this is double back and then you can say it's on top so yeah that's what the double back is used for i think you can use it for other tricks but i'm not quite sure all right so that was the last deck actually you know what i might go for one more one more deck uh before i move on uh type your ratings in the chat what do you think one out of ten uh what would you add this deck so it's got mm, standard oh not really standard pips they're a bit smaller as you can see but yeah i'm curious to see your ratings on this deck 
Uh, what? What are you gonna do? Uh, my brother's gonna come to the setup, guys. Oh, you wanna use this deck? Uh, you wanna use this one? Uh, no, I got mine. Uh, Matthew's got his own deck. All right, my brother's gonna uh come to the setup, and I'll do one more of you. All right, guys, today I'm going to be showing you. I don't know why I could say that. People are just there. What? No, I told them to uh, rate the deck. Okay, so oh, I see okay. some eight, some seven, and some five. Five, in my opinion, it's probably like a seven or an eight. But yeah, uh, yeah, nice votes, guys. Uh, I'm going to be showing you <coughs> the slip slop card trick, is what it's called. Um, so basically, Jack, can you take a card? Uh, to show the audience. Uh, uh, my brother's not looking, and I'm actually honest, he's not looking. So I don't know if you could see that, but there we go. Okay, I'll flip it back over. So when he comes to the setup, he won't see it. All right. So I'm going to take the card and I'll put it around the middle. It's around the middle. You'd agree? And uh, so I'll put it right there. I'll give the cards a couple of cuts and a nice shuffle. Okay, now I'm going to sort of mix up the cards in a very funny way, face up, interface down cards, face up, interface down cards, and uh, so some cards are back to face, some cards are uh, face to back, and some cards are back to back, as you can see. Now, snap my fingers, <coughs> spread out the cards, every single card is face down except for the chosen card. I think it's a chosen card. Is it the chosen card? Was that two of clubs the card? Uh yeah, I think so, yeah. It is, yeah. Okay, so I'll be teaching you guys how to do that real quick. So uh it is very easy to do. You just have the I suspect how to select the card. It's going to go in the middle, but I'm going to catch a pinky break by what I what the easiest way to do is to push the card down like this and put your pinky in there like that and then i transfer i this is what i did i transferred it into a thumb break so there's a break with my thumb the spectators card is right there and i just what i what i did was i grabbed a bunch of the bottom packs so i did took pack by pack well i took a third of the bottom pack and i kept going until the spectators card was on top and then I said, I'll give the deck a shuffle. I'll strip off the first card and then I'll drop the rest on like this, like a shuffle. And then, if I sh then I shuffled it again and I did what we did last time. I slide the card down and then drop cards on like that. So the card is on the bottom. That's all we need. Then what I do, what I did is I took some cards like this and I went, turn them over, push some cards, turn over, push cards, keep doing that. And, and then when you get the last card, which is Spectator's card, you want to flip this over and put it on top. Make sure you don't flash like all these cards because the order is basically not very mixed at all. It's just face up and face down cards, but it looks like it's mixed. And then you want to take like about just a small portion off the top and say some cards are back to face. And then you go to the bottom, take a portion off the bottom. Some cards are face to back. And then you put that on top and then there should be a little gap in the middle of the deck. And then if I cut to that break, you'll say there will be two back-to-back -back cards. You'll say, and some cards are back-to-back. -back. Now what I'm doing is I'm flipping over this. Uh, so basically all of these are face down, except for the spectator's card. I'm putting it on top. And then when I spread and reveal, that's how it's done. So comment if you like that trick. Let me know. All right, um, I'll go on. Why do you keep going on bandits? Oops, I did. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to review two decks and I'm going to show you a really quick beginner's card trick. Uh, yeah, it's very easy. Uh, yeah, and after that we'll wrap things up. So, um, where are my decks? No, um, but let's just grab a deck of cards. No, I'll just grab a deck. Actually, two in fact, because, I mean, yeah, why not? So right now we've got the the white ghost deck and the black ghost deck. 
So these both have the same design, except one's black and one's white. All right, so guys, I'll get through decks and yeah. All right, so this comes with a double backer, which I just showed you what they can be used for. Um, yeah, I'll just go through the design because uh, everything else other than, oh, actually no, you can see with the five of diamonds, it's kind of like a black. It's more of a, yeah, I'd say it's like a really, really dark red or a black, you know, for the red. And there's a little red diamond here to represent the red. And for the black, it's just normally, you know, normal black. Mm, yeah, the Joker, very fancy. I like that. All right, so I'll go through the deck. Yeah, very standard. I sent the deck of cards, really. Uh, okay, so this is uh, this card. Uh, air cushion finish. I like those cards. Yeah, I know this is a really cool deck of cards. <clears throat> All right, so what do you think of this design? I, I like it, in my opinion. I like the white. Yeah, as soon as I saw these cards, I knew I had to pick them up. All right, so I'll go through the Once I've gone through those, I'll go through this deck, the, um, the Black Ghost. <clears throat> Made by the Illusionist Plant Guard Company. All right, so again, same thing, except it has white to represent the red. It's a little red here, little red diamond or little red heart to represent the red. And instead of having a uh, black, to rep they have white to represent the black. <clears throat> yeah, so really cool deck of cards. Yeah, with the just a similar, the same exact same design except different color. <clears throat> Yeah, so they are both air cushion finish. If you're wondering what air cushion finish is, it's just a, a small softer finish instead of linoid finish, which is, I, I just showed you, it's more crispy and snappy. <coughs> All right, guys, uh, comment in the chat. Uh, what would you rate? Well, actually, you know, which would you rather, the black ghost deck or the white ghost deck? So I'll just show you black ghost and the white, white ghost. All right. Just type in white or black to, um, you know, just for your reviews or your your personal opinions. So I'll just show you that right there. And boom, those are what the two decks look like. Actually, you know what? I just told you guys that I'd show you a trick, so I may as well. All right, so this trick is uh, black. Black, black, yeah. Yeah, I knew you guys would rather the black. I don't know why, I just had a feeling. So this trick is really simple. You just take a spectator to select the card. And then you bend it like this. So from that POV, I'll do it like this. You can kind of see the, hold on. You can see like the suit, when you're bending it, you can see the suit. So I don't know, from this angle, you probably can. I don't know if you guys can see that, but no, you probably can't. But you can see as you bend it, you can see like that part. From my angle, you can. You can see the little, the number and the suit here. So tell your spectator, select the card, and then you just bend it like that, and you can see, you can just take a little peek at that card, and then you'll know what it is. So, uh, yeah, that's just a quick beginner trick. Uh, yeah, if you're performing it to like a friend or something, highly recommend it. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I think that's. Let's wrap things up. So I'll go over uh, just what we covered. So we covered uh, just some beginner magic tricks, <clears throat> uh, deck reviews, and magic book reviews. All right, guys. So uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. Yeah. Uh, thank you. This has been an hour live stream. All right, so I think we're going to wrap things up. Uh, yeah, see you guys later. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, check out the latest videos. I uploaded one yesterday and today, so check them out. All right, see you guys. Thanks for watching the stream. Yeah, thank you for watching the stream.